Well, a group of fourth graders got a chance to see something they likely have never seen before. A trip to Utah's wetlands gave students a chance to appreciate nature, but it also gave them a chance to understand the impact of climate change on the Great Salt Lake. Quite a field trip. Fox 13 News reporter Spencer Joseph shares what they learned. For the first time since the pandemic began, local fourth graders traveled to the Great Salt Lake Shoreline Preserve, located just west of Layton, as a part of the Wings and Waters field trip. Andrea Nelson with the Nature Conservancy says the kids were excited to be there. I joke that they are like just so hyped to be on a field trip and then they get even more excited when they're out here looking at stuff and exploring. The Nature Conservancy in partnership with the Utah State University Botanical Center helped restart the field trip for Earth Day. Dr. Katherine Hayhoe, a world-renowned climate scientist, guided students along with their trip through the wetlands. Her message to them was simple, where we live matters. This is where we get our water from. This is where the air we breathe comes from. This is where all the resources that we use come from, and we're surrounded by nature every day. And so with kids visiting the Great Salt Lake as part of our program, they're able to understand how this is not just the Great Salt Lake, it's our Great Salt Lake. Hey Ho's TED Talk on talking climate change has over 4 million views. She says talking to kids about climate change will help them in the future. Our kids are our future decision makers. They're the ones who are going to be making decisions about how to manage our land and our water, our cities and our towns. So it's so important that they understand that this matters to all of us. Fourth grader Michelle said the best part of the field trip was getting to see the hawks and feeling like she was flying with them. It was like I was hovering over the beautiful grounds, the flat grounds of the wetlands. Ultimately, the goal is not just to get kids to enjoy and appreciate nature, but for the whole family to be a part of the experience. You guys think you're going to tell your mom and dad, hey, let's go out here again? Yeah. Spencer Joseph, Fox 13 News, Utah.